question. Yeah, now you need like a little it, Mai Tai. Oh yeah, you know, <laughs> can you imagine? And then we have our little drinks with the umbrellas. Yeah, you know what? Today's the last day of spring, so we're gonna enjoy it. Tomorrow is when summer officially begins, and it's not gonna arrive until 1:51. But at least we are getting closer and closer. Yes, where I think a lot of people are looking forward to it, especially because you know May was one of the cloudiest Mays that we've seen since we've been keeping record. It came in as number two since we've been keeping track of records from 1973 with the clouds that is uh, and then the year before that that may was the most cloudiest so yeah things have been a little gloomy a little bit cooler for us lately but things are slowly starting to shape up and we're looking at temperatures starting to go up but today we're going to see those temperatures closer to normal that's because we have that sea breeze and we also have the low clouds and fog that eddy off the coast that's keeping that marine clouds overhead right now especially west of the mountains temperature wise i'm going to take you over to the coast where in the next few hours we're going to look at those temperatures pretty much staying in the mid 60s we actually start to see some of the clouds clear in some spots later this morning. But what we're really watching for right now is not only the June gloom, but that marine layer will begin to shrink as we head into this upcoming weekend. We have that sea breeze right now, so that's going to keep temperatures normal through tomorrow, even for the first day of summer. But once we get past tomorrow, the warming trend kicks off on Friday as we are watching that high pressure system that's sitting out to the east expand back into our region. So, so far this month, you can see we've had our equal amounts of above Above average days, which is the red and equal amounts of the below average days, which is the blue. The last couple of days have been a little cooler than the weekend and we only had two days where we hit closer to normal. Today we're probably going to see those temperatures uh, hit a little bit closer to normal, maybe slightly below average. And then we'll have the breezes pick up by the afternoon for Riverside and Santa Clarita and Ontario. Same with San Bernardino and Huntington Beach. And then we'll have some gustier conditions over Lancaster, but all the wind advisories and red flag warnings that we saw the last couple of days have all expired. Air quality quality still good with more of the moderate all the yellows that you see here on the board and that's because we still have the clouds overhead but the smoke continues to kind of linger with us from all the wildfires burning but it's really light so it's not quite as bad as what we saw over the weekend and that's because that post fire is still burning uh, to the north of us and here's a look at what happens though toward the end of the week we're looking at this nice warm up just in time for the first official weekend of summer that high pressure system gets closer to us and then it actually sticks around until the middle of next week. So those temperatures will stay pretty much above average during this time. All right, so LA and Orange County, you're looking at temperatures warming up nicely into the 80s as we head into the weekend. Valleys, you will see temperatures in the 90s as early as Friday with closer to triple digit temperatures by Saturday and Sunday. And it's Inland Empire who will actually see some triple digit numbers by the time we head into Saturday. Back to you.